This is the Amazon Echo Show 15, and it just arrived at our house. We're in Lita's office right now. We're gonna actually set this baby up, open the box, set it up right here in her office so she can use it. So let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Because this reminds me of, doesn't this remind us of the Samsung, Samsung Frame TV? Yeah. Okay, so it's like the size of like a MacBook. It's like a small laptop. It, yeah, it's yeah. like your MacBook Pro 15 size. And so when this came and the box is so small, it's like, uh, where's the rest of it? Where's the, yeah. So this is it. It's actually much smaller than it looks. Yeah, so this is a very nice package here. Hello, here is the startup setup guy. We're actually gonna have to read through this and see how we're gonna mount it. Here is the mounting frame on it. And then the power brick, our mounting screws, and mounting templates. So you can use this to help mount. So if you were to swipe down here from the top, there is a down arrow button that you can swipe on and you can select to go home. You can also change your settings from here. Um, do not disturb alarms. You can change your brightness. You can see your notifications. You can also change the widget gallery here. So you can have it change to adjust to your calendar, your commute, um, maps, anything related to Amazon really. Um, reminders, all of that. And then you can swipe through this main screen. So it'll go through different photos. It'll go through different recommendations. And then this is your widget gallery that you can adjust. Now, so changing the orientation of the frame is very simple. You lift it up, change the orientation of it, and then you can just mount it back on. Do you see here, Lita just flipped it to the vertical setting. So now this is in a vertical um, setup instead of the horizontal setup. And it's almost exactly the same as the horizontal setup, except that things are just laid out a little differently. The top, you have your typical Echo Show uh, cards. So these cards are almost essentially the same, even the, even the screen. So this aspect ratio here is probably similar to the Echo Show 10, I would say. So I actually, our kitchen downstairs, I see the exact same cards. So this is basically an Echo Show 10 by itself here. And then on the bottom here, you have this real estate for your widgets, which is kind of nice. Uh, I do like this orientation a little more than the uh, horizontal one. However, when you use this orientation, watching videos might be a little difficult. You actually can still watch videos, but you get a lot of uh, letterboxing. So let's try that. Alexa, play Lost in Space. Getting Lost in Space from Netflix. As you can see, it's playing here, but the problem is now you have that 16 by 10 aspect ratio. However, on a vertical screen, there's a lot of black letter boxing here. So that might not be the best solution to watch videos. And this is one thing already uh, after having this for like two days that we already noticed. It's really cool that you can switch the orientation. However, you don't really want to switch it to this orientation if you're going to watch videos often because you have to actually unhook it and remount it every single time. While it is very simple to do, you do have to pull it off the wall and rehook it on the wall. I do wish for a future version of this next year or whenever the next generation of this, there, there, there could be some sort of rotating mount. That would be really nice. The mount itself is actually really cool as it is. However, you can rotate the mount so that this can stay mounted with it on the wall. That would be really cool. So you don't have to actually physically lift it, pull it off, line it up, there you go, to set it. Not that hard, but it would have been much easier if it had a rotating mount. So as you can see now, you can watch a video in its, almost its proper aspect ratio. I think this was shot in 21 by mm. nine. So there is still a little bit letterboxing here, but it's better than uh, the vertical way. So we're trying uh, the video feature here. And Lita is answering in our studio uh, across the hallway. So as you can see, it works. Can you see me? Yep, I can see you. Can yes, you I can see you perfectly. Yeah, so she is on a Echo Show uh, 5. Actually, no, 
yeah, the first gen Echo Show, so not the new Echo Show 5. But as you can see, we can video chat through different rooms when we need to, uh, or upstairs. We also have one in the kitchen, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, I mean, this, this thing is pretty versatile, and especially during, uh, you know, like this COVID wave, probably permanently for, for forever, this is a great way to communicate with people. And then, simply swap it off. Or this can also be a great intercom. So Lena and I have been actually using this when I'm working up here editing a video or something and she's downstairs in the kitchen or dinner's ready or I'm cooking and she's up here. We intercom one another using our Echo Show 5s. Now we have this, we can Echo Show, uh, well, we can use this to talk to the Echo Show and tell one another to come downstairs or come upstairs or something needs to be done. Or if I needed to show her something and I didn't want to walk downstairs, I can literally turn on the webcam and just point it at her and say, hey, do you need this? I can take it downstairs for you or whatnot. So there's a lot of functionality here that I think is pretty cool. And in this form factor, it is a huge improvement compared to the first generation Echo Show. So just for comparison, this is the Echo Show, the original Echo Show. We actually have two of these in the house. We also have the Echo Show 10, I think, downstairs in uh, our kitchen. So I just wanted to show, show you guys how far these things have really come. Like, look at this thing compared to that. When this first came to our studio, I remember being blown away by how it evolved our smart home. Like, it really changed the way we interact with our smart home compared to what we we're using with the Echo Dots. This thing changed the game. And I feel like my excitement level for this is at the same level as this. Okay. Alexa, show me porch. Okay. Alexa, show me side. Okay. So as you could see there in that little demonstration, there is a lot of added functionality from the Echo Show 15. Of course, you could do all of this on your Echo Shows in the past. However, this kind of like new interface and this new dropdown improvements, incorporation of the whole um, uh, Fire TV line onto here, I do like it a lot. It is more functional. And like, I, I just saw what Lita did there. She, for example, she's at home all the time now working from home and we have two doggies and our dogs love patrolling the home. They love <laughs> checking out the home and we let them uh, hang out. They're really good. However, Lita does want to check up on them sometimes. Sometimes if they're in the backyard by themselves, she can just pull up the camera, double check. They're, they're perfectly fine chilling on the grass, go back to work. Or she can check the front door if there's a package. She can quickly glance instead of going down there physically and looking or going on her phone, pulling it out, turning on the Ring app. It's all connected on here so she doesn't have to pull out additional thing. I do like the functionalities. I do think this is starting to really make smart home even smarter and the functionality merging all together is very nice to see here. And as a first gen Echo Show, I remember when we got the first one and we opened yeah, it on there, so cool. we thought it was really, it really changed how we interacted with our home. And I've been buying the new Echoes every single year. So this one was very exciting. I can't wait to see them bigger and bigger. So they're like an actual TV size. Uh, and we're just really happy to see Amazon continue to evolve and get better and better. But once again, I'm Alex, that's Lita. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. If you have any more questions or any more things that you want to learn about this, leave us a comment. We'll try to get back to you if possible or follow us uh, on Twitter and Instagram at Sipnotech. That's where we, uh, we, can, we can interact with you guys there too. So hit us up if you have any questions and any other things you want us to demo on it. We'll try our best to cover it. We'll see you guys next time. The only thing better than a Tesla stock is subscribing. <laughs>